There's those moments when we have the opportunity to make a choice. And what we choose has the potential to change our lives forever. Join us now for another inspired episode of The Breakthrough. And now, please welcome the creator and host of the show, Jessica Dugas. Hello, 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 everybody. I am so excited to be back with you today. Welcome. Pull up a chair, get comfortable, because we are about to get started. Today is Friday, August 2nd, 2019, and this is the season three premiere of The Breakthrough. It's the spiritual view for your soul and mind, where we dig deep on today's spiritual hot topics and inspire you with the stories that change our lives. With so much content online available for you at any time, we are thrilled that you've chosen to spend an hour with us today. Thank you for being here with us. As I'm introducing today's show, please take a moment and click on the share button for us so that we can spread the message of inspiration, personal growth, and breakthrough moments with more people around the globe. If you're watching this show on Facebook on a page other than The Breakthrough Show, what I need you to do is check the comments or the description of the video and click on that link if you want us to be able to see your comments throughout the show. On today's show, we are all about sharing with you our excitement for season three. You're going to meet our eight amazing panelists for the season. We're going to dig into our first hot topic. You'll learn about the incredible guests coming up that we have for the season, and we have some amazing special announcements for you all, so be sure to stay tuned, okay? If you are excited and you're watching this live, give us an emoji or some type of excitement in the comments below. We want to see where you are watching from. Now, if you are new to the show, never watched before, what this show is really about is creating a space for important conversations. Now, even though I am pretty biased as the show's creator, producer, and host, what I love most about The Breakthrough is that we really meet you exactly where you are on your breakthrough journey. Whether you've had a breakthrough moment in the past and can relate to the stories that you hear, maybe you're in the middle of a breakthrough moment now and you come here because you know that you're not alone or perhaps you haven't had a breakthrough moment in your life yet and you know that by watching this show you'll be inspired to make it through when that time comes. Whatever your story is, we are glad that you are here with us today and made time to tune in and share this space with us. Today's show is unofficially sponsored by Lori's Jewelry Barn. Lori's little store on Facebook is the perfect place to find inexpensive jewelry to help you look your best on camera and off. I want to give a special thank you to Lori, Linda, Phil, Lori F, Linda G, Megan, and Susie for helping me to choose my jewelry for today's episode. So be sure to visit Lori at her link in the show notes. And now, without further ado, Let's jump in to season three of The Breakthrough Show. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I see Lori, I see Elizabeth, I see Calvin. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching today. I want to jump in and bring on our fabulous panelists for the season. Now you're going to see some old faces. I don't like to say old faces though. I like to say seasoned faces <laughs> and new faces alike today. So be sure to give them some love when I introduce them. Okay. Everybody ready? Who's ready? All right, let's introduce first. She is someone who has been with us from the get-go. She is our, Heather Clark is our declutter coach and consultant who has been with involved with a breakthrough since the beginning, like I said, um, first as a guest and then a panelist. In her business, she helps people to clean, organize, and declutter their lives. No surprise, she's our resident Virgo on the show. To bring them more peace and an appreciation for all those things that make their soul sing. Heather has an amazing membership called the BYOC, Bring Your Own Clutter Membership, where you can declutter, work, and network with your peers online. Welcome back to season three of The Breakthrough, Heather. I am so excited. Like, I cannot believe this has already come, by the way. Like, I've been waiting, waiting, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, crap, it's today. I know. 
I know I got up this morning um, after being woken so wonderfully early by my children. And I was like, oh, but I can be excited today. <laughs> exactly. like, All right. You woke me up for a reason. All right, fine. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm, I'm so excited. What do you think you're looking forward to the most on the show this season? Oh my God, the lineup of guests that we have this season is crazy. Plus the panelists that we have, like new faces and stuff. Like obviously I've been here since, you know, day one. Or actually not technically day one. That was Jamad actually was day yeah. one. Technically, right. I yeah. think See, day, like, so three. Virgo of you to be so specific. <laughs> Listen, I, I can only be me, right? That's right. Listen. Listen. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys don't know, if you know what that is, please put in the comments what that whole listen is, if you've seen Jessica say that before. <laughs> maybe they have, maybe they have not. <laughs> well, we're certainly glad to have you back here, Heather, and I'm also excited for our lineup this season. I cannot wait, cannot wait. All right, up next on the show, we are going to welcome someone who's also been with us since the get-go. Tara Abram is the Breakthroughs Juicy Girl and Jane of all things. She's a meditation teacher, photographer, designer, and sole purpose coach and always makes our green room, the behind the scenes of the show, too much fun. Um, Tara has experience on her own social media and radio shows, entertaining guests and musicians from around the globe, um, and always keeps things lighthearted and fun and juicy. Like Heather, Tara has been involved with the Breakthrough Show since inception in 2018, first appearing as a guest on season one and jumping on as a panelist that season as well. Welcome back, my favorite juicy girl, Tara. How are you, my friend? Thank you. I'm so excited to be back. Yes. It's going to be an amazing season. We have some new energy and, you know, energy that's been here since the beginning. And I think it's just going to be an amazing blend. Yeah, I'm yeah, blending. Excited. That's a that's a cool um, blending. Blending. <laughs> blending. <laughs> we have to come up with some kind of dance for that. Leave it to us. Shoot. Leave it to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. And I think um, I think. Do you feel like uh, you you have sort of um, you're you're well seasoned now being here from the get go that you sort of know what to expect or do you think there's gonna be a little bit of a shake up this season? Oh gosh, it's gonna be a shake up. I know it. I feel it coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun part right yes yes Expect absolutely expected that's right I think it's, it's going to be so much fun and uh, I'm so glad to have you back my friend thank you for being here all right, up next, we are going to introduce someone else who uh, may not have been here from the get-go, but Siri Reidenauer was an amazing guest on the Breakthrough Show in season one, sharing about her very personal experience, experience with suicidal thoughts. In season two, she made the leap and joined us as a panelist on the show as our resident mama bear. In her work and life, she brings her own life experience to help people through the trauma that they have experienced in their lives. The Breakthrough is series first experience participating in a show, and we love the heart and commitment that she brings to it. Everybody, please give some love to Miss Siri. Welcome back. Blessings, everybody. So glad to have you here today. I'm loving, I love the mandala behind you. We kind of have a similar theme going on here. Bringing <laughs> <laughs> your halo, your halo. I think all of us all of us are on our best behavior today. We all have little oh, halos no. going. <laughs> no, What's, what is happening with that? <laughs> what are you? What are you most excited about this season, Siri? Oh, the new energy. The, it's yeah. just been amazing as we have meshed over the last few weeks. It's just been great. Yeah, there's been a lot of energy leading up to this moment for us, right? Like, it's, it's, it's interesting to be a viewer and you sort of see the event, you see the, the, the live coming up. But for all of us, like we've been working for weeks and weeks getting ready for this episode. So I agree with you. The energy is incredible this season. And it's, it's been incredible for us leading up to this moment. So thank you so much for being here, my friend. My I appreciate it. All right. Welcoming to the screen now our next fabulous panelist, Crystal Cockerham, is another one of our amazing guests from season one of The Breakthrough Show that joined us as a panelist in season two. She is a self-proclaimed transformational midwife and owner of Wisdom Awakens, helping women to awaken their divine wisdom 
trust their personal truth and claim their divine sovereignty. On the show, you'll see her as a peaceful presence who always brings heart and emotion to the screen. Everybody, please welcome back my friend Crystal Cockerham to the show. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I mean, talk about being a midwife. That's what it's like birthing a season of this show. It's really that process of you're waiting, you're waiting, and you're waiting. And then it's like, oh, God, the day is here. There's nothing we can do about it now. That's right. That's do, right. Do you feel like that being a panelist, too? Like, even though, like, you're you're not... You're not the one that created the show, but being a panelist, do you feel that sort of ramped up excitement as well? Oh, yeah. I have... Um... I have a whole process before the show goes where I just really tap into the energy of no matter what's going on in the crazy wide world or my personal crazy wide world. Um, it's, it's all about the breakthrough when I'm in the moment. So I really just kind of tap into, you know, helping people raise that vibration when we're on the air. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think that's such a cool thing. And, um, and I feel like we all do that in our own ways individually. And then when we come together on the show, it just knocks it, it knocks it out of the park. It's so much fun, right? Mm hmm. All right, Crystal. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're super excited. And we are going to welcome the new faces on the Breakthrough Show now. Ooh. First up, we have our first, I know it's exciting. It's exciting. We have um, Jeremy Witcher is brand new to the Breakthrough Show, yet he's kind of not. On season two Ooh. of the show, we saw Prophet Calvin Witcher. And guess what? Jeremy is not only Calvin's partner, but he is the creative director and integration facilitator with Calvin Witcher Ministries. Jeremy was personally chosen by me for the show because um, he is so open-minded. He's such an incredible <laughs> approach and incredible gift of bridging spiritual theories and practices with everyday life activities. So everybody, please welcome our new friend of the show, Jeremy Witcher. Yay. Hey, Jessica, it's so good to be here with you. Thank you guys for having me here as a panelist this season. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. We're really excited because we um, we had uh, Jamad on season one, and now we're, we've got some of that um, masculine energy coming back on the show. We're really thrilled about that. And, um, and also, like I said, I love your ability to sort of bridge some of the things that we're talking about on the show with everyday life things. And I think that's going to be an amazing perspective to have on the show. Do you, how do you feel now? from going behind the scenes of, of your work to being in front of everybody on the camera? What's it, what's it like for you in this moment? Oh, it's good. As you know, um, Jessica, but I can tell the audience, um, I'm usually behind the scenes. And so that's a, uh, my safe place. So this is good because it's going to put me out in front. I get to see what everybody else goes through when they're having to lead the charge. And um, I am looking forward to all the topics, all the ways that we can collaborate and uh, share. And yes, get us through those breakthroughs to the next level of consciousness, whatever that may be. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. So yeah. Awesome. Well, we are so glad to have you here, Jeremy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank All you. right, we are doing another newbie introduction on the show here. Genevieve Khan is another Breakthrough Show veteran. She was a guest on season one and also joined us for our comeback episode in season two. And now she joins us as a panelist for season three. In her work, Genevieve serves the world in many ways. She is an abundance creation guide for heart-centered women entrepreneurs, helping them to develop a mindset and tools that bring them abundance of wealth, and health. Who doesn't want that? You can also find her as one of the hosts of the Reclaim Your Health podcast. Everybody, please welcome my friend Genevieve Khan to the show today. Yay. Hi, Jessica. Hi, everybody. So happy to be here for season three. This is going to be so much fun. We are excited to have you back. So do you do you feel like this, um, this show is high vibe enough to, to um, add to that abundance creation in our lives, Genevieve? Absolutely. No question about it. Um, every show is high vibe. Every show is, it has humor in it and fun. And we talk about serious topics, of course, but there's always another level to go to, to reach your breakthrough. And that's, that's what the show is all about. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're so excited to have you here, Genevieve. Thank you for sharing this space with us on the show. Thank you.
All right, we are introducing yet another newbie on the show. Lori Auger is one of our newer Breakthrough family members. She appeared on season two of the show and shared with us about finding healing in her life. In her first experience as part of a show, she's joining us as a panelist for season three and bringing her creativity with it. Lori is an artist and beyond quantum healing practitioner who is all about finding personal empowerment and taking responsibility for our own lives. Everybody, please welcome Lori Auger to the show. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. We're ex excited to have you. And, um, and I know that based on your introduction, you are not going to let us get away with things like blaming cosmic disturbances for the things <laughs> that happen on this show. Are we going to have to take responsibility because you're here, Lori? <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm so excited for today's hot topic, too. Like yes, <laughs> we're gonna yeah. we're gonna dig into that sucker. Well, Lori, yeah. we're, we're so excited to have you here. And I know that um, you have incredible uh, life experience and and we're just thrilled to have your energy here with us. So thank you so much for being here, my friend. Thank you, Jessica. I'm so honored to be here as part of your show. So thank you so much awesome. for having me. <laughs> no problem. We are we are psyched to have you here. All right. We have one more introduction for you today. Alan Knight is brand spanking new to our Breakthrough Show family. He, although he's never appeared on an episode of the Breakthrough Show, Alan has an incredible amount of life and business experience and has even had his own shows in the past. Alan is, get this, a former Zen monk. A, a, a Zen monk, you guys, turn communication coach who is passionate about sharing his nine step formula, which helps us to empower ourselves mentally, emotionally, and within all of our relationships. We are thrilled to have his heart centered, no BS approach on the show. Everybody, please welcome Alan Knight today. Oh, thank you so much. The only problem is I've entered into a deep state of depression going last of everybody. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick myself up as a former Zen monk. <laughs> yes, you need to do that. And I was going to ask you, do you think your experience as a Zen monk holds any sort of experience that's going to help you on this show, dealing with all of us crazies? Well, it's going to be the biggest challenge in my life. I understand that. <clears throat> but part of what I teach people is not just the positive, is to deal with what I call the, not obstacles, but scud missiles of life. So this will be like a scud missile for me that I got to practice what I preach, right? So I'm very confident I could do it, though. Yeah, I, I agree. I think you can you can handle us just fine, Alan. <laughs> You're going to be great. You're going to be great. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to turn the attention over to Miss Heather. All right. Well, there's one more introduction that we have, and that is our wonderful, beautiful host that it, if it wasn't for her, none of this would have happened. So Jessica is a creator, producer, and host of The Breakthrough Show. From the time she was a young child giving self-love seminars to her grandmother in the living room, Jessica knew she wanted to help others. For the last nine years, she has taken her clients on a personal and spiritual journey with her, intuitively mentoring them to live a life with less stress and more joy. The creation of The Breakthrough Show was born from a realization of the powerful impact we can have on the world and the incredible relationships we can form just by choosing to share our stories and the breakthrough moments we experience. She's a catalyst for bringing amazing people together and encouraging each individual to shine. And the proof is in the breakthrough show. Thank you so much, Heather. Thank you so much. I really, at any point, you know, I could have done this, this show alone. And I said, it would be so much more fun, so much more fun to do this with other people. And so thank you all for being a part of this season with me. Thank you to those of you who have stuck around from the get go. Um, I love you so much and appreciate you, you being here and giving your time to the show, something that has grown to mean so, so much to me. So thank you so much. And now for our first hot topic of the season. Now in the spiritual development world, this has been absolutely the number one hot topic on people's minds and all over social media lately. And just like the shadow period, even though it's over, it's still hanging on. That's right, we are talking about Mercury retrograde today. Is it real? Is it fake? Are we actually affected by it? How does it affect you? What the hell is it anyway? And what happened to personal responsibility? All right, guys, let's dig in. Who wants to get started? 
I have my two cents to put in <laughs> about this. Um, I think astrology is a very good tool, can be a very empowering tool. However, when we start to use it um, as a way of expecting things to go wrong, that's when we self-sabotage. So very often I hear people, oh, well, Mer Mer Mercury retrograde is coming. I better do X, Y, Z, prepare for it. It's like, it, it, it's not a blizzard. It's not something that you expect things to go wrong with. We so, shouldn't be going to get our bread and milk before. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. Yes, I mean, especially if you're vegan, no. <laughs> yes, right. Exactly. That. That's it. So, I mean, if you are expecting things to go wrong in your life, guess what's going to happen? Mm. Things are going to go wrong in your life. So I prefer to really either not even pay attention to Mercury retrograde, or if I know it's coming around, I set my intention that things are going to go well. And mm. guess what? Most of the time they do. Yeah. I mean, Jeremy, can you tell us, um, maybe you can tell us what the hell is it anyway? Because some people that are watching might be watching and going, I, Mercury, what? Like, I don't even know what that is. You know, I love that you asked that because I, I, I was going to ask us the same thing. Does anyone have a good working definition? So uh, Mercury, Mercury retrograde, if I can say it correctly, um, is when the planet Mercury appears from our point of view to be going, traveling backwards or in a loop um, from our perspective here on Earth. So it is something that is happening in the sky. <clears throat> like our um, eclipses with the moon, uh, different astro astrological uh, events that are happening. And it's simply when two planets are orbit orbiting the sun or another uh, planet or star, uh, when they're orbiting and they're doing it at different speeds. So it's actually a thing that is taking place much like our moon affects the tides on our oceans. So too do planets in space affect how we are um, experiencing things on earth. But I really like what was said before. There are lots of, lots of retrogrades going on. So all the planets at some point, and, and I thought this was interesting too, um, from Mercury's perspective too, earth also goes into a retrograde. So it depends on what planet or uh, star you're viewing the other system from, we're all going into some kind of retrograde. So there is that. And then I'll let you guys talk about um, the significance or the symbolism that um, we often talk about in spirituality because it, it gets kind of fun. So I love you're it, saying yeah. I can't blame my communication that I you know, couldn't talk all the past however many weeks it was on. I can't blame it on that. You can, you can, but, <laughs> but there again, we're going to go into personal responsibility. So I should ask Lori if I can. <laughs> <laughs> So typically, right, um, Mercury rules in the spiritual world, the uh, communications, uh, any kind of download data. And something I was uh, really, back when I was studying about this, um, learning more about the solar system and how it relates to our spiritual growth and development, um, Mercury was not that big of a deal in other um, civilizations. It's become more and uh, more of a, uh, first of all, it goes faster. So we have it three times a year approximately, right? Um, these retrogrades, um, but also other societies um, went slower. They didn't have the immediacy of the data that we have today and they weren't so dependent. So it really speaks to our society and how we, what we hold as valuable, this quick download and this immediacy. And so, because this planet is said to rule these um, things of communication and data sharing, uh, it, it does affect us in that way, so. But also collective uh, consciousness, right, of the planet when we right. focus on something. You have that too, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What we focus on is expand. So, you know, I would love to ask Alan this, being a former Zen monk, can't we just focus on the here and now? <laughs> and not it's all about that's happening like now. millions of miles away? Yeah, you know, it, it's an interesting topic, but I personally don't know very much about it. On some level, I hate to say this, I don't care so much. And, and that I sense I've, <laughs> that I, could be a good thing, right? <laughs> I, you know that expression, uh, ignorance is bliss. Um, but I, I agree a lot with what Genevieve was saying in the following way. Uh, when I was kind of young in my spirituality, I tend to go to psychics a lot more. I can listen to a lot of other people, even if it was spiritual information. 
But looking back on it, I see that there was somewhat related to my lack of security in my own spirituality and my own intuition. And the way I see it now, I'm sure that the planets have an effect of us. Just like if I hear the weather report is going to be rainy tomorrow and I want to golf, I could be aware of the fact that it's going to rain. But if I choose to golf, I'm going to go out there with the most amazing attitude and whatever. The problem is that when people are not rooted in their own sense of self, mm -hmm. I had a friend who every month was telling me why she couldn't make decisions because it wasn't Mercury retrograde. It was something else in the stars and in the planets. And she was never taking charge of herself. So I think, yes, let's be aware of these things. But I think what's going to help more pe people a lot more is to master ourselves, master our own self-love and love others to the highest level. I agree. Do you do you agree with that, Lori? I know um, you're all about that personal responsibility. And so I, I posted a very funny meme on Facebook that showed a person um, riding a bike and it said spiritual people be like and the person gets off the bike shoves a <laughs> stick in the bicycle and then says f in retrograde like <laughs> we do this stuff ourselves right Lori yeah no definitely and I've I agree with everyone here. I, I was basically going to say the same thing. Um, I'm glad that Jeremy stepped in with like what Mercury retrograde actually is um, because it does affect the universe. Like anytime any planet is going through something, it affects the entire universe and that's why it affects us down here. But it doesn't mean that we have to blame everything on what's happening. Um, and I think somebody else mentioned it that it's good to know um, just so that you're kind of aware, but it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, just because you had some communication problems, like Heather was saying, because that's one of my things. And I think I know why, because she's a Virgo and Mercury rules Virgo. Um, Mercury also rules Gemini and I'm a Gemini. So I have a lot of communication problems. Um, but in knowing that, it helps me get triggered less because I understand that like the energy that's happening at that moment just means that people are either misunderstanding me or I'm misunderstanding them. And it just, you take that moment to readjust how you're explaining things. Um, you may ask more questions so that you can understand what someone else is saying. Um, and when I've applied that, it's worked really well for me because I used to be one of those people that blamed it all the time, you know, or like I marked it on the calendar and I'd be like, oh, damn, you know, today's Mercury retrograde. And, you know, now I can't, you know, make a plan to go traveling or I can't do this or, you know, everything's going to be delayed. But like Genevieve said, you talk those things into existence once you focus on that. So you just have to, you know, be in the moment and allow for anything to happen because even the challenges are there for a reason. There, you know, and that's another part of what Mercury retrograde is about. Like it's about revisiting, you know, old patterns um, and having a new perspective, like giving you that opportunity to have a new perspective on something that's returning from your past or, or whatnot. I mean, there's a lot of things that gets involved, which is why I think people like to blame it so much. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, I kind of like it now. <laughs> If we do notice, you know, that we're being affected by it, if we, by anything that happens in the cosmos, how do we, how do we then deal with that? Like, um, Crystal, do you have any tools or anything that you sort of use in your life or in your business to sort of say, okay, this is how I'm going to make it through this? Well, I was really happy to hear um, Lori mention, uh, like, the revisiting for Mercury Retrograde. Uh, my spin on Mercury retrograde is first, I agree with everybody here. <laughs> Sometimes I am overly affected by Mercury retrograde and other times I'm really not, but I know it's there. Like I know when it's happening because it's, it's a big event and I know that I am um, sensitive to those energies mm -hmm. and, um, so for me, not being an astrologist, and I know we have, what, four here on the panel, so I'm going to refer to you after I answer Jess's questions. I think it has to do with where it is in your chart, mm. you know, like where those planets that it governs is in your chart, um, and, and I'm sure that that has something to do with it, but when I'm working with clients and something comes up, um, and I have a couple right now where, hey, you know, 
they, they didn't answer when their spirit called the first time or the second time or the third time. So Mercury really lends itself to revisiting that and giving you that opportunity because we all know that every time that we shift and grow or heal and change, and every time we step away from that, when we know that we need to do it, um, it's going to keep getting in your face bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and louder and louder and louder. So sometimes it's just an opportunity to pause and say, okay, this is divine timing right now. So this is what's in front of me. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. So I'm really curious. Um, I know Tara, you haven't gone yet, but I know we have four astrologists here um, <laughs> who can understand all of that stuff way better than me. Um, like how does Mercury play based on your chart? like where your plants are in your chart. Terry, you want to take it? <laughs> sure, I guess. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, I love what everybody said. I think everybody has, has some great input putting in. I kind of geek out on this stuff and I find it really fascinating um, because I look at it as all cycles. And when I, you know, when I studied architecture and design and you go back in the history and then when I looked, you know, it studied Ayurvedic teachings and stuff. And you go back and you look at history and you look at the cycles. It's not necessarily just Mercury, like, uh, as Jeremy is saying, we're talking about all the planets and how they all have that effect all around. And so I look at it as an opportunity to see where the energy is at and how I can maximize and use it. I don't look at it as a negative, at, you know, sure, there's glitches and I've had experiences where things happen. Um, but for the most part, um, with what Crystal is saying, I really look at it as that opportunity to go back and circle. Usually I find that there is a pattern or something that has come up or something that is left unfinished. Finished, and it gives me an opportunity to, you know, like Lori said, have a new perspective on it, close it off. Um, so yeah, for me, it's just about utilizing the energy that's going to best, you know, suit me sort of thing. Um, and, and what, in, into what Crystal's saying into where it's your chart. Um, yeah, I think it does make a difference in where it is in your chart and how that's placed and what, because if you have, um, nothing in that area, you know, in your chart, really there's nothing there to move it. There's no, you know, you're waiting for a transit or something there to, to move that. So I don't know if that's my two cents. I just, I look at all the energies in a forward movement way, but it sure helps some days when you're like, oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, I mean, it does. It's not a you know, it's, it's nice to have a little blame thing every now and then. <laughs> Question, Heather. Question. As someone who's not into like hugely into astrology or someone, and I know there's plenty that are watching that are like me, how would you, you know, know that that's what's affecting you? Because like I said, I didn't know that my Virgo was ruled by Mercury kind of deal. Like I didn't know that. I could, now I've got something else to blame on it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> But how do you know that that's what it is, that it's the end? Like, how can you, as you guys are saying, stop and work with that energy? How do people know that first? Like, how do they know it's not them or it's not like, you know, outside source that it's actually, you know, I hope that's making sense. And I hope that my I question. Think, listen, I think that the, the, um, there's an, like we've talked about a little bit with everybody, there's an awareness, um, and, and whether or not that awareness is a good thing for some people comes down to what Alan was saying of really that self mastery of knowing, is this something outside of myself or are there choices I could be making that are better? Are there other things I need to be doing in my life? I think it really does come down to that self mastery. Um, and, and as we all know, especially here on this panel, that's something that takes work. It takes time. It takes, you know, it's, it's different for everybody, right? But I think um, I love what uh, some of you were saying as well as not using it as a like doomsday sort of forecast. Um, you don't have to go get your bread and milk. You don't have to, you know, close up shop for your business. But that awareness of not only knowing that it's here, but knowing how it affects you is absolutely absolutely the very first step of it and then using tools and so we had um some of the people in the comments of the video right now thank you so much for everybody that's chiming in on this by the way you guys are making some great points and i cannot wait to go back and visit it after as well but um it really is about using the tubes that are there tools that are there in your life so possibly um you know spending some more time in meditation having some more quiet time journaling is a really good way to to get it out and figure out what's going on in your life um, and also connecting with other people 
in your life who um, maybe know more about it than you, maybe can help give you an outside perspective of the things that are going on in your life. All of these different things are things that you can do that are great tools to kind of help you navigate your way through any cosmic disturbance. Okay, so there's lots of different things that you can do. And most of the people here on the panel are really well versed with helping you with that self mastery and also helping you navigate your way through different cosmic things. So I want to uh, close up shop on our first hot topic and thank you all the panelists and everybody in the comments who chimed in with us today. I want to move on though because um, we I want to get into the heart of the show a little bit and I want to remind you also that if you have any hot topic ideas, you can send us a message at jessica at thebreakthroughshow.com and we are happy to see how we can get your hot topic to fill in with the show. Now, how about we kick off our breakthrough segment with an announcement? Who would like to hear an announcement? All right. How many of you panelists by show of hands have a favorite podcast that you listen to? Who's a podcast listener? Anybody? All right. We've got some amazing podcasts that are out there. Well, we have some exciting news for you because this season, the Breakthrough Show is going to podcast. Yes. We want to first say hello now to all of our new podcast followers who are listening. Thank you so much for being here with us. All podcasts will be uploaded immediately following our live Facebook show each week on SoundCloud, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and coming soon, iTunes and Spotify. Isn't that exciting? Now, I know you're thinking about what about seasons one and two? Well, that ties into another announcement. So you're just going to have to hang on a minute for that. So guys, I want to dig in a little bit now and talk about the show this season and the guests we have coming up. You will see a couple, as I said before, seasoned faces on the show, like Katarina Stomska and uh, a certain favorite prophet of ours that some of us might know here, Calvin Witcher, is going to be coming back this season. Um, and I, we have a lot of new faces, though, as well, which is really exciting. So I want to jump in a little bit about that. Now, have any of you panelists gone through... Have any of you been nosy and gone through our guest list and, and picked anybody? Anybody have anybody that sticks out for them exciting that they're excited to talk about or with this season? Anybody have Siri, Siri, Siri? Um, I'm really excited when Steve uh, Stanley is going to be on the show. And why is that, Siri? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Stanley is the lead guitarist and writes all the songs for our band Duramata. And Steve is a six year cancer survivor who has done it all naturally just up until last week when he had to go with some conventional treatment. But uh, we will be performing one of our songs on the show. So I'm excited. <laughs> See, we knew that Siri was in a band, but we haven't gotten to hear her perform yet. So she's actually going to be singing with Steve on the show. And we're really excited about that. Yay. I am thrilled. I'm thrilled because it's, you know, we know little things about each other. But to get to see that, see those things now, is gonna, it's going to be so much fun. I'm thrilled about that, Steve, as well. Does anybody else have any certain guest that sticks out to them that they're excited about? coming on this season. Um, Jeremy, I don't think you're excited about Calvin coming back well, on. I mean, if we're talking about just, you know, nepotism here, I've got to say <laughs> my husband, so of course. But um, no, it's going to be a good lineup seeing everybody come on. But yeah, I am looking forward. I always love hearing Calvin talk and yes. um, see what he has to bring because he always brings something a little different, right? Well, that one's going to be a fun episode. <laughs> Halloween. Yes, <laughs> we found yes. this one like last season. So yeah, it's I'm yeah, excited. And it's I'm something excited that he's about talking about something that he's talked about before. And um, again, like there's so many misconceptions about everything. So yeah, that's gonna it's, it's fun to kind of cut through the clutter on different topics. So yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heather saw what you did there. <laughs> the clutter. Heather catches those words in a second. That's right. It's like automatic. It's like my SEO goes off here. <laughs> um, I'm actually really excited for Blake. Like I'm not even like just his energy that because I was, you know, I've been looking at the 
obviously I've been stalking a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, research. Yes, research. you heard it here first. <laughs> but no, Blake, it's just the energy that he brings into his videos, into what he's doing, into everything. I just, that's one of the ones that I'm really looking forward to. Blake Fly, guys, he's a he's a TEDx speaker. Um, he's doing, I mean, he's an entrepreneur just that has the most, the most incredible heart, you guys. I cannot wait. And he's actually breaking news hear it here first he's going to be singing for us on the show a little something as well so Ooh. i i just had to i just had to throw that in there because i was like hey can you um do this little bit for us and he was like absolutely so i can't wait for you guys to meet him as well um anybody else have anything anyone that they're excited about Lori? i know you're excited about some guests um yeah i'm excited about blake too and i'm Really happy to be on that show with you guys. Um, and I'm also um, excited to meet Chris Burns because um, I've seen you guys um, on his show before. Um, and he's got such amazing energy and his story is so inspiring. Like, I'm just, I can't wait to talk to him. It's going to be great. Chris Burns, you guys, he has a 12 hour that this is not a, a what do you call it when you speak? Like not a um, it's a marathon. Not yeah. a typo. Like because I'm not typing. <laughs> this is not a mistake. He has a 12-hour podcast he does every Wednesday. Do you guys understand? Every week, 12 hours he shows up. It's called the Becoming Your Greatest Possible Self Marathon Podcast. I was on it. Tara's been on it. Um, he is so much fun. And you want to talk about high vibe. The vibe of that show is going to be off the charts, you guys. So I can't wait um, to have him on as well. Uh, Tara, I know. The hypnotist. The hypnotist. <laughs> that is going to be okay. We are going to have a bring your cousin to work today episode. My cousin. Jim Spinato is an R-rated comedic hypnotist in Connecticut. He headlines at Mohegan Sun Casino, and um, he has really an incredible story about starting out in um, children's magic. I remember when I was little going to watch him at his shows, and now he does R-rated hypnosis, making people cluck like a chicken and things I can't talk about on the show. So I am really excited to have him on it is going to be one for the memory book you guys <laughs> I can just tell you that just tell you that anybody else have any exciting exciting they're looking forward to it's funny that you just mentioned that Jessica because I was just excited about um well I'm excited about everybody of course but about Jim Spinato definitely because I'm all about following your passion so that's gonna be mm -hmm. awesome that's something he definitely, he definitely has done. He's just gone after what he wants. And it's, he's, he's a trip. You guys should look up some of his videos. It's mostly the people acting crazy on the stage, but they're hysterical. They're really funny. All right. Anybody else have anybody they want to chime in about that they're excited about before I get to the rest of the list? Um, well, I'm really excited, although I'm not a panelist on the schedule for this day, but I'm kind of an HGTV junkie, so I'm really excited to have uh, Wendy on there. Wendy Russell is a star of She's Crafty on HGTV Canada, and um, she is a fireball and amazing and an awesome entrepreneur. She, I met her actually through Blake that's going to be on the show, and I, sa I saw she wears the most incredible glasses, you guys. She wears these glasses all the time that are just like, they're so her. You know, some people have a certain style, and you're like, that is so them. I can't imagine it. Anybody else. Um, she's, she's going to be an amazing guest on the show and her story is so powerful. And the things that she's doing for the youth in, in the world is, is amazing. So I can't wait for her to meet you meet, meet her and you meet her and all of that. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. You guys. Um, so I uh, thank you for bringing her up. Uh, cause I think she's going to be incredible. I uh, also on the show, we have Will Carlos, who is going to be talking to us about miracles. And it's a, he's got a really cool story, you guys, and I can't wait for you to hear it. He's an energy practitioner also out of Canada. We have a lot of Canadians on the show this year. And um, we have Aviva on the show that's going to be talking about leadership through relationships. She is an amazing businesswoman, and we can't wait to hear from her. Um, we have Yazid Yazin, who is a friend of, you guys remember last year's guest, um, Aaron Fisher 
from last season. Aaron, uh, Yazid is a friend of Aaron's. And um, when I heard about his story, I said, everybody needs to hear about this because it really touches on um, some hot topics that we deal with in today's society. And so he's going to be talking about relationship rescue in our relationship uh segments of this this season uh and then of course we have my friend laura mazada on the show that's going to be talking about creating a new normal she's an amazing energy practitioner we have marie martin on the show marie i know is a friend of yours crystal as well right yeah. and i'm i'm excited to have her on the show and she's going to be talking about um the sort of inside outside and and appearances and it's going to be an amazing topic we also have like i said returning to the show, Calvin Witcher, Katarina Stomska, we have, oh, and then kicking off, I have to tell you guys about her, kicking off next week, um, our first guest of the season is Juliet Stapleton, who is the queen of visibility. Um, I actually just re recorded a segment of her show with her, and she um, had a really powerful personal story um, when her husband was ill, and how that really became the catalyst of pushing her to be visible in her business, and so we're really excited. We've got one hell of a lineup for you guys this season and I can't wait to jump in and dig deeper with all of that with you guys okay if you are you guys excited yeah all right, all right. <laughs> everybody at one time everybody's so afraid to talk over each other <laughs> there we go. There we go. all right so um we have uh the Actually, it's not the only amazing people that I've met this season. Um, that's the truth of it. And this season, we are introducing a brand new special edition segment sprinkled throughout each month. That's our second announcement. So while they don't have the hour long layout of our Friday version of the breakthrough show, they will be 30 minutes jam packed with incredible stories or lessons from our guests. In fact, our first special edition segment is coming up this Wednesday at 12 p.m. 12 15 p.m. Central Central Time. I will be joined by the amazing Shiraz, an energetic magic practitioner, again out of Canada with the Canadians this year, I'm telling you for an episode we are calling simply magic so be sure to tune into that now even though these are bite-sized segments that you as panelists don't have to be on the screen for what are you looking forward to about these special edition segments where we get to hear just from the guests well, I think one of the things that is so awesome is the perspectives that our people are bringing. I mean, because everyone has such a unique path or a different story, as does every human on the planet, um, pulling those things together um, and seeing it from just anything from magic to hypnotherapy to uh, any kind of modality we're going to see brought up, we're going to be able to pull out the the ideas that we need and we're working on, but from a completely different vantage point and I for me that's what I love I love seeing it from a different angle and getting those aha moments so I I'm really excited to watch it unfold and see what we all learn together I agree I think it's going to be so so much fun and I always love that as well where you know each of us uh, even though I'm the host of the show and you guys are panelists and then we have guests and then we have fans of the show everybody sort of has their roles but we all learn from each other. We all get to see things, like you said, from those other perspectives. And I think that that's really um, a lot of fun. And I, and I love that th these sort of little um, special editions or breakthrough bites that I'm having give you guys an opportunity to, to even to, because it's, it's, it's different. It's a less of a juggling when you're not on screen, <laughs> when you're not on screen and having to do it. So I love that for you guys too, that you get to dig into these guests a little bit as well. So you guys have gotten to know our panelists for this season. You've heard about our incredible upcoming guests and uh, two amazing show announcements. We've got our podcast coming. We've got the Breakthrough Special Editions coming. And now it's time to reveal the last announcement of the day.
One of the sort of side effects, I guess, of the show is um, something I didn't realize was going to happen. And that is the relationships that have been formed between the panelists, the guests, and even the fans of the show. And there have been friendships made and business relationships and network opportunities that Honestly, out as the creator of this show, it's something that has been so incredibly moving for me to see. Um, and this season, we want to really be intentional about those relationships that are being created and do it in a way where we can continue to spread the message of the breakthrough even further. And that's why this season, we are bringing you our After the Breakthrough community powered by Patreon and guess what? It's launching today today right now you can, <laughs> you can go to our patreon page at patreon.com slash the breakthrough show and support our efforts there here at the breakthrough and um, we are going to get you plugged into our community where you too can be intentional about creating those relationships and um and those that are with those that are on the show and also those that watch the show. Okay. Does that sound exciting to you guys? Absolutely. Yeah. That is great. And Jessica, don't you have your t-shirts and things like that? Or am I ruining, ruining a surprise? <laughs> <laughs> we do still have those as well. Um, and we're actually going to be hearing a little bit more about those as the season goes on. You can always though, go to the breakthroughshow.com and click the show link at top up the top we have hats and shirts and mugs and all kinds of good stuff um, that you can wear when you're hanging out in after the breakthrough um, in this incredible space you're going to be seeing the behind the scenes goodies from the show we'll have the opportunity to connect further with the guests and the panelists on the show and be inspired by daily uplifting content access exclusive live live events and master classes and be treated to a weekly meditation um, i will be doing meditation sometimes as well as Tara and Crystal so you guys will get to see them do some meditations with us as well and step into expansion. Genevieve talked about abundance and that's something that is available to all of us. You're going to get to expand your network and by extension, your client base, if you have a business, your circle of friendships and your skills and knowledge and support team for when you have to navigate the breakthrough moments in your life, okay? So I know that you're all excited to get plugged into After the Breakthrough, so I invite you to do that as well. Oh. And remember when I mentioned our podcast announcement and said, what about seasons one and two? As an extra bonus, everyone joining our After the Breakthrough community, no matter what level, will have 24-7 access to all of seasons one and two on podcast, okay? So you can listen. You don't have to see all our beautiful faces if you don't want to, um, but you'll be able to listen on the go, and uh, I think it's really exciting. So be sure that you plug into our After the Breakthrough community in the show notes of the video, Okay really exciting. Does anybody have anything really exciting that they're looking forward to in that community that they're excited about the most? Furthering the connections for mm -hmm. me. Absolutely. Um, because when we're on the show, uh, so I've tried a couple of times while we've been on here and I can't respond to comments now um, as the fans are talking to us during the show because it keeps kicking on the video, which is not simultaneous with our recording. <laughs> um, so for me, being able to connect more um, with the fans, but also with the other panelists and with our guests, both the past ones, the ones we're going to have and in the future, because really we only have an hour. And even though we have a tiny little chat before and we kind of debrief after, um, you know, um, you can only go so far in that amount of time. Right. So for me, it's really deepening the connections and, and just taking it that much further. And I, I'm super geeked about it. I, I'm excited too about that, that extended period of time that we'll have with people because I was talking about this. Um, actually, I think it was on when I did the recording of Juliet's show the other day, I was talking about how, um, 
you know, oftentimes we see these, what I call light switch moments, which are before and afters. Like once I was poor, now I am wealthy. Once I was big, now I am small. Once, you know, that sort of thing. And we're sort of missing a lot of the stuff in between. You know, we're missing that, what actually goes on behind the scenes? What actually does it take to get from A to B? You know, and I really feel like that opportunity is going to be here with the master classes, with getting to know each other other further and um and having that connection it's it's just going to be so much fun i know it i know it i know it all right guys um do you believe that we have officially survived season three episode one i think we have yes <laughs> wow we need a t-shirt for that right. Right. <laughs> i survived the breakthrough, the breakthrough. <laughs> still in shadow I know. We're going to have our own kind of sign language. Do you, do you realize this? We have listen and I have a question. I have Focus. A question. Focus. Focus. Do what my sister Snaps. 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 I like yep. Snaps. Raise the roof. <laughs> We have to we have to come up with some kind of like cheat sheet for this for the people. <laughs> we'll make a graphic for you. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Coming soon, a graphic on how to read the breakthrough show sign language between the panelists. You will know what's really going on in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> really going down behind the scenes. <laughs> That's the way it is. All right. <laughs> Guys, I wanna first thank all of you amazing panelists for being here with me today. Thank you guys so much for sharing this space with me, for committing to sharing season three with me. It is going to be a blast. Thank you so much. All right, so we wanna say goodbye now to our friends on the show. We had our amazing declutter coach and consultant, Heather Clark. Thank you for being here today. We had our juicy girl and Jane of all things, sole purpose coach, Tara Abram. Thank you so much for being with us today. We have our mama bear extraordinaire helping us through the trauma in our lives, Siri Ridenauer. Thank you so much for joining us today. We have our transformational midwives helping, con helping us connect deep within ourselves. Crystal Cockerham, thank you so much for being with us today. We have our abundance creation guide. Thank you so much for joining us, Genevieve Khan. And we have our bridge between the spiritual and everyday human activities. Jeremy Witcher, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. And we have Lori Auger, our artist and energy practitioner. Lori, thank you so much for being here today. And last but certainly not least, we have our fabulous communication coach that used to be a Zen monk. Everybody, please thank Alan Knight for joining us today. Thanks so much, Alan. Big hand. All right, and I want to thank all of you for tuning in with us today, whether you've been on the show live or on the replay or on our brand new podcast platforms. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Please thank all of our sponsors. I want to thank our sponsors, our patrons, and our broadcast partners for this participating in this episode with us. Thank you so much. Please visit them and their businesses at thebreakthroughshow.com. Up next week, we have our first amazing guest of the season, as I mentioned, Juliet Stapleton. She is known as the queen of visibility, and she'll be sharing with us the breakthrough moments that she experienced when she decided to she decided to fully commit to her dreams. Plus, we've got your hot topics, we've got your roundtable discussion, and more as we dive deep into season three of the Breakthrough Show. All right. So we are so excited and um, I'm Jessica Lucas, the host of the show and thanks so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Breakthrough. Please visit our website at www.thebreakthroughshow.com and be sure to join our After the Breakthrough community powered by Patreon. We look forward to seeing you next week. Same time, same place for another inspiring episode.